Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Too. Yeah, thanks for asking. Well, actually, I have had a kind of frantic couple of weeks. I had my holiday and then my computer died, so the video has been coming on in splurges. I do apologize about that, so I'm going to need to invest in a new one. On the upside, I have got myself a tripod. Check that out. A little bit intimidating. Don't really like using it that much, but I will use it from time to time, okay? This recipe is a chicken bruschetta bake. These are all of the ingredients you're going to need. So if I just get my fingers, you can hit pause and write them down. We are going to get straight into it right away, in fact. Here we go. See, I've got it up here, and now I've got a dish like so, okay? What I want you to do is to grab some olive oil and just plonk it in a dish like that. A good lug or so of it, like that, cha-ching. And now, all the chicken. I bought this so it's in little fillet strips like this. This is the sort of size I'm after them. If you want, you can cut it even thinner. If you've got a chicken breast, obviously you're gonna have to hack away at that even more, okay? So, you've got your chicken breast in there with your olive oil. I've got some ground black pepper here. What I'm gonna do, take the lid off, obviously, and then just, Give that a darn good coating, like so. Oh, I nearly got my finger then. Ow, ow, ow. Right. Chargill chicken seasoning, completely up to any seasoning you want in there. Herbs, whatever you want, even steak seasoning. You could be crazy. You could be crazy. Let's get that in there. Just dust that over the top. Nice. You can see this one's already got herbs in it anyway, so I'm not gonna add any herbs. I'm gonna get my hands in there now, get it all nice and coated. Do, 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 do. And that, is all you need to do with the chicken to start the base layer. So, we're gonna grab, well, I'm gonna wash my hands first of all because it's gonna be like a face lotion. Ah, oh, like that, isn't it? I'm gonna put some cheese on top, and believe it or not, we're nearly there with this recipe. Cha-ching. Right, just wanna quickly say thanks to Kyra for sending in the recipe suggestion for this. She's from Dublin in Ireland, so top of the morning to you, and I've probably pronounced your name wrong, so I do apologize. Uh, this is uh, her Twitter username, if you wanna go say hello or follow her, and, you know, whatever. So hi, cheers for the suggestion. Right, so yeah, we have got our chicken there, like so. And this is a bag of grated mozzarella, so you can either buy a mozzarella ball and grate it yourself, but why do that? Why don't you just buy the stuff in the shop? There we go. But it's stuck together still, so let's break it up with our fingers and scatter it so it's all over the top. Like so, and that is it. We are nearly there already. Can you see how exciting I am? If you're a lazy person, you're suddenly going, no, no, I'm gonna just like go and order a pizza. No, okay. This is so, so easy. We're nearly there already. Just gotta prepare our onions and garlic, tin of tomatoes, stuff in. You're gonna love this. Okay, my sexy chums, we have got our cheese topped chicken here. Let's put that to one side. Grab yourself a bowl like this. You can even spin it like that if you want to. Yeah, looking good. So, here goes my water. Not much to this, just, just water. I promise you that is water, it's not vodka or anything like that. That's going in there. Right, now we get our tin of tomatoes if you like. This is passata, it's a little bit more herby. Still chopped tomatoes in there, but there's a little bit more bounce in there. There's some basil leaves, you can see that in there. And speaking of basil, I've got my own leaves here, which is from my home, homegrown plant. Pack it of stuff in, let's open this up. Pour that in. Beautiful, that is all in there, loving it. Not much left, the only things we've got is our basil, cha-ching, our onion, and the garlic. So we'll start with the garlic. What I do is just splat it, and peel it off like so, take the layer off. You're loving this, aren't you? You're loving the tripod action? I really can't get used to it, so probably just gonna do a couple of videos like this and I'm gonna hold you. I love holding you in my arms, it just, <laughs> It's be all emotional, you know? Right, anyhow, yeah. So my uh, my lid, that's what I'm gonna call it, is off my garlic. Just gonna finely chop that one. Same with that one. So let's do that. Right then guys, so with the garlic, I'm just finely chopping it like so. You've seen me do this loads of times before. In fact, if you wanted to be super lazy, you could get one of those garlic mincer things, you know, and just push it through, like that. In fact, I've got one in my drawer. You know, one of these things. You just put the garlic in there, and then you're... and it comes out that side. You know, it's kind of cool if you just chop it yourself. It's good for your skills as well. All about the knife skills. All about knife skills. Right, let's get that to one side. Just break down your knife. You can wash your knife if you want, but I just like to hold, make these all together, you know? The onions and the garlic and the basil is all gonna come together anyway. So just use the same knife, you know what I'm saying? It's not raw, it's not raw meat. It's not gonna kill anyone. With the basil, I'm just gonna chop it as well again. Get it nice and fine. 
Right then guys, I finished chopping up my basil and I've pushed it all in there and you'll notice I've also chopped up one half of my onion. All I did, cut it in half so you go down the middle of that core bit there, you see that? And it all peels off really easy then, okay? And then that, you need to use that as like your mothership, okay? You want to cut towards it, like so. You've seen me do this before actually. Just work your way down it, da, 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 all the way through the onion. I'm only doing this quite rough, but you'll see that it's that sort of mothership bit holds it together, see, like that. So, with that, like that, you can do anything you want with it. You come in at this angle, slightly down, and then you can literally just chop straight down the onion, okay? So you can see, it's sort of like a Pac-Man, if I uh, open it up a little bit, it's talking. Well, a little bit of onion just fell off, but ignore that bit. Just cut straight down, like that. And that cuts your onion up into funky little chunks, like that. So just do that to both your onions. Leave the skanky bit mothership at the end, just chuck that away if you like. And that is it all done, believe it or not. No more work to do. Easy peasy, good times. I'm starting to cry from the onions. <laughs> Ruby. Right then guys, in the words of Michael Jackson, <laughs> it is looking good. We have got chopped onions there, garlic and basil as you know, and this massive bowl of potiony goodness, stuffing and chopped tomatoes in there. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try and plonk you up here, bear with me just one minute to get you in there. But, can you see me now? Wicked, all good, right. You're there, we're gonna scrape these ingredients into the bowl. I hope you can see this, just push it in, like so, nice and gentle. If you missed the bowl, it's all good, I still love you. So garlic, onions, basil, all in there. You can chuck in anything you want in there. Use a red onion, use different herbs, anything you want. That is all in there. Grab yourself a wooden spoon. We are! Sorry about that. Now, stir it all through. This is where, if I was doing MTV Cribs, where the magic happens. This is your love potion, baby. Stir it together. Okay guys, so I've stirred that all through, it's been about five minutes, the stuffing and tomatoes and onions, the basil and garlic all bonded together, it's doing a thing, it's a nightclub of flavour in there. <laughs> it's having a good time, anyhow. Put that to one side for a minute, grab your dish with the chicken, and then just start to spoon this over the top, okay? So uh, do that. Brilliant guys, that is it, all smoothed out with the back of my spoon, let's just pick this up. Plonk it into our preheated oven like that. Give it about 25 minutes at least. That's on gas mark five. You just want to do it long enough so the onions and ideally, well, most of all, primarily the chicken is cooked through. And then we're going to eat it. That is it. All done. Do not be lazy. Make food. Cooking is nice. What's that? Got a little bit of washing up to do. Kind of made a mess. Got a little bit of bag of salad on the side, which I'm going to put some water in. Shake it around my head. And that's it. Now, where is the. Ah, oh, guys, you get everywhere. Uh, welcome to my fridge. Uh, just while you're waiting for that to cook, here's a little fridge joke for you. Why did the guy keep his trumpet, trumpet, in the fridge? Because he liked cool music. Right then, guys, I'm just getting out of the oven now. Wow, that is hot. Cha-ching, check that out. Just close my oven door. That is red hot. I'm going to put my ear to it, not too close, otherwise I'm going to burn it. That is a nice crispy layer on the top where the stuffing and the tomato is all bonded together and underneath that cheese is melted away on top of the chicken. So, I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Okay, so I've got myself a funky uh, bowl and uh, this ready to be spooned out. Let's first of all plonk some salad in that bad boy, let's go. Brilliant, so the salad's in there, no dressing on it, I've literally just given it a little wash, it's still a teeny bit cold and wet. It's all good. I'm going to get all the flavour from this dish right there, baby. So, let's get our spoon in there, like so. Oh, it's all gooey. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, all stringy. Ooh. Right, let's dump it in there, like so. Ah, turn it upside down, that'll do. Get some more chicken out of there. Wow, that mozzarella is really gooey. Look at that, all stringy. Loving it. Wow. <laughs> Smells good too. Right, let's eat it. Yeah. Right, guys, this is definitely the champion of dinners, so, so easy to make. It smells incredible. Let's have a little taste. The chicken is all soft and all cooked through. The stuffing and the tomato is doing its thing. It's dancing around still. Bit of salad on there, you know, just for you health freaks out there. Mm. Wow. That tomato and stuffing has got some amazing punch it's been putting in that dish. I'm loving it. So easy to make, guys. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. I've got two hands for you. Look, jazz hands. And I'll see you again next time. Winner.
Hi-fi!